Okay, so welcome to Math Story, ah. and let's have this topic. So, evaluating the limits in indeterminate form. So, the limits is indeterminate form if 0 over 0. So, for this given, if we're going to use direct substitution, so as x approaches to 8, so this becomes 8 to the power 2, then minus 64 over 8 minus 8. Then simplify, so this 8 to the power 2, this one is 64 minus 64, then over 8 minus 8, this one is 0. So we have 0 over 0, so this limit is in determinate form if we're going to use direct substitution. So, in this case, we need to simplify first this equation. So, using the factoring, so from this given, for this numerator, we can use the difference of 2 square. So, if we have a squared minus b squared, so we can factor out this one as a plus b times a minus b. So for this given, since we can rewrite this one as x to the power 2, then minus, so this 64, the same as a to the power 2, then over x minus 8. Then to factor out this numerator using this factoring, so we have x plus 8, then times x minus 8, then over x minus 8. Then we can cancel now this x minus 8. So this is now the new equation. So the limit of x plus 8 as x approaches to positive 8. So, we can use now the direct substitution. So, as x approaches to positive 8, so we have 8 plus 8. So, the limit is equal to positive 16. Then, for this given, so using direct substitution, so this becomes indeterminate. So, first, we need to reduce this equation using the factoring so just copy the numerator that's x plus 3 then for this denominator since quadratic equation so we can use the quadratic factoring so the factors of x squared that's x times x and the factors of 3 that's 1 times 3 then since all positive, so all positive. Then we can cancel now this x plus 3. So this is now the new equation. The limit, so the numerator is 1. Then over this x plus 1. Then as x approaches to negative 3. Then using now direct substitution, so as x approaches to negative 3, so we have 1, then over, x is negative 3, then plus 1. So therefore, the limit is equal to 1 over, so negative 3 plus 1, that's negative 2, or negative 1 over 2. Then for this given, so we need to reduce first this equation. So for the sum of two cubes, so if we have a to the power 3 plus b to the power 3, so we can factor this one as a plus b then times the a squared then minus the product of a and b that AB then plus the B squared. So therefore, 
we can rewrite this as x to the power 3, then plus, so this 8 with exponent 3, that's 2 to the power 3, then over x plus 2. Then factors the numerator using this factoring, so we have this x plus 2, then times the square of x minus the product of 2 and x. This one is 2x plus the square of 2 or 2 to the power 2. Then over x plus 2. Then we can cancel now this x plus 2. So this is now the new equation. So the limit of x to the power 2 minus 2x plus this 2 squared is 4. Then as x approaches to negative 2. Then substitute now this uh, negative 2 to x. So we have negative 2 to the power 2 minus 2 times negative 2 then plus 4. Then simplify, so negative 2 to the power 2, this one is positive 4. And negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. Then plus 4. Then we have now 4 plus 4, that's uh, 8. And 8 plus 4, so the limit is equal to positive 12. Then for this given, so since uh, this one is indeterminate form and we cannot use the factoring, so we need to rationalize the numerator. When rationalizing the numerator, we just need to multiply the numerator by its conjugate. So multiply this by the conjugate of this numerator. So since this one is minus, so the conjugate is x plus 4 then plus 3 so this is now the conjugate of this numerator and also this denominator so x plus 4 then plus 3 then simplify so since we have this the sum and difference so if we have a plus b times a minus b so this one is equal to a squared minus b squared so the square of the first term minus the square of the second term so therefore we have the square of the first term then minus the square of the second term then just copy this uh, denominator so we have x minus 5 times the square root of x plus 4 then plus 3 then simplify so we can cancel this radical so we have now x plus 4 then minus this 3 squared that's 9 then over this x minus 5 times the square root of x plus 4 then plus 3 then simplify so we have this uh, positive 4 minus 9 that's negative 5 then over this x minus 5 then times the square root of x plus 4 then plus 3 so this time we can cancel this x minus 5 so this is now the new equation so the limit the numerator is 1 then over the square root of x plus 4 then plus 3 as x approaches to positive 5 then substitute now the value of x that's positive 5 so we have 1 then over 
the square root, so x is 5, then plus 4, then plus 3. Then simplify, so we have 1 over, so the square root of this 5 plus 4, that's 9, and plus 3. Then we have 1 over the square root of 9, that's 3. Then plus 3, so the limit is equal to 1 over 6.